right, let's take a little break. Let's... I'm back for a bit. Start. Okay. Are we, uh, am I still in the lobby? Sounds good. Five minute break for a stop. Let's wait. Back. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I got one kid. The fever went from 103 back to 100, so that's good. Then the other one went up to 102, so gave him some medicine. <laughs> Yeah, the little one, we had to, like, fight him to take medicine, and he wouldn't, so we, like, gave him a cold shower because we didn't know what else to do with 103, you know? So maybe next time he'll choose medicine over cold shower. We'll see. So Matulis versus who's the uh, other team on the other side here? Mytilus. I always say Matulus for some reason. Yeah, I think that's right. You're inviting ME, so you're inviting Dyer. Yeah, because I think you said it right at 607. You said Ghosty and Sabres make a lobby, so it should be good. It's the ring. I wonder, uh, is he going to play a light or the heavy? I guess we'll see. Well, it's a long and an illustrious position to play the ringer for Sorens and Sabres. For anyone listening, you know, it's a it's a highly sought after position. Very prestigious. The accolade. Second to none. I was thinking when I was away taking care of the kids that uh, this casting thing is much harder than it looks. So big props to Brower and to Starwolf and all the other folks who cast normally. Yep, definitely. A lot harder than it seems when you're watching Sina. Definitely. I think it's right, but locked. Yeah, I'm right after you. 
Corp. Compliment. Have to think. Sound. Sounds good. Yeah, I think we we pretty much cleared the bar and then some. All right, so I'm going to stick on this red side here. See, so yeah, I'm looking at mech enjoyers. I see a bunch of kit foxes, one cougar, and an annihilator. This is T. Fox. There, excellent. Let's go. Poor man. Seemed to be hanging out. She can't tell who is the cougar, which is weird. Carbon fire. Oh yeah, I get it. Now they just look so similar. The mech itself from the top view here. So there's three medium pulse and five heavy small lasers on that one. Star, star man. Six medium pulse. And two. Oh yeah, those goss into a light leg will do a number. Well, this is a box with six small pulses. Scar. Direwolf. Oh, cool. The Direwolf Annihilator is two UAC fives and a UAC ten, so that's different than the AC fives we've been seeing. Right. That's a lot of burst if you can hit a light with it. Yep, we're just going into a big brawl here. In front of that mid tunnel entrance. Yep. Carbon fire is the weakest on the other side. Uh, 66. Until it's just... Yep. Starman is down in the ante. Oh, he's making work for it. Their axe is down, and yeah, the other Irby's going for the uh, last minute. Oh, he took an arm off that ante. Well, uh, and that's it. Well, maybe he get the ante. Fire on. Oh, that goes one. 5 to the back engine. A lot of UAVs here, which is great. Oh, and just, uh... Oh, I missed the, uh... Last... Matches. Code. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do anything with the codes, but... Nice to have it, I guess. Well, that way we've... That's right. So far, the second taken the obviously back here. Probably so these are. Are relatively, I think. Uh, yep, I think that that I think you're right. That's definitely the, probably the closest matchup. Although we don't really know too much about Mytilus's team. They did win. They won their first matchup, right? Versus Oxy. Yes. I mean, we know Mytilus and Therax. They played with Sabers in Tournament of the Stars, but the other folks, we we don't really know too well. No, I recognize Crazy in the. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's having a good Yeah, probably beats quick play. Yep, and getting to do that a little. A chance to. It's the way. Job. Cows hard. It's a screenshot up. Chat here. Popular, everyone's favorite festive deck. <laughs> yeah, I see a lot of good entries already there. It's the uh, screenshot of your mech channel in the Sabres Discord. A lot of good stuff here. I see some reindeer, some Santas, including an urban mech Santa. Yeah, I did and some that. sort of dude with a like an executioner with like a bomb on his back. I, I don't know. There's some commentary there. It's a sack, maybe. I don't, yeah. Maybe that's for the, uh, that's the present. I don't know. Gatto actually got pictures on a map. I see most people are doing it in the mech lab because they're probably using stuff that they don't actually own. Which is fine. Yeah, we don't need to actually buy stuff here for this. Right here. Good enough job designing it, you might get some. Back in, I'm heading toward the side. All right, let me check out Reds here. See at least one kid fox. Yep, so red side, uh, my Tillis's team is four kid foxes in Annihilator 1A. I can join Iris, Bucks, and Carbon Fire, and a Cook. Firewolf. Oh. We got a tunnel push forming up here from Matillus's side. That could be interesting. It's like, uh, That'll pretty. Salt. Some. Drop ship. So my Tillis' team is waiting for the Annie to get into the tunnel, it looks like, but we got three Kid Foxes further up at the second entrance. It looks like they might have been spotted because I see blue team coming back. Yep, they spotted or just. And he's coming up to the second entrance now. See a blue way in the back over there. Yep. Opposite side. Coming back around now. Firewolf. Yeah. But that, that definitely aborted their tunnel push because it looks like they saw that mech and then came back. So now they're coming back. Awful strike. Yeah, it could be bad news if the other team pushes in there. Okay, now they're going back. Now they're going back through the tunnel. So let's see if they commit to it this time. Firewolf, he's pushing hard for the. It looks like they're all pushing hard. Artillus is base. They're, they're pushing for the. Oh, yeah, this could be a base cap here. Okay. Uh, Matilda's team just standing in the tunnel. Okay, they're going to come back out now. One came out. He sees what's going on. Hits the guy on the base. Goes back in the tunnel. Now they're just grouped up in there. Okay, they're going to push through the tunnel now. But at this point, I don't think you can base cap if you're Mytilis' team. It's too late. Yeah, unless they, I mean, a bunch of them cap. Them. I can join. I'll sit here and stack up one. This is going to be hardly shots fired match, possibly. Yeah. The only chance they have is if they can deny the cap. So they got one Kit Fox looking back at the base here. If he can get some shots on the base holders. 
But he's going to get torn up here. That looks like it's uh, Scar. Scar's the one left in the back here. He just jumped down. He's going to be in trouble. He's in their whole team. Oh. I don't know what the plan is here, but he's dead. They got three on the other base. It's going to be too late, though. Red base is taken down. I thought I was... What all? That was probably the very most, most different. For all, this one's on base cap and red side. I see light. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think what might have been interesting there is if you had like some sort of PPC pop tart to sit at the entrance to the tunnel and just deny the cap, you know? Right, drop an arty striker two or three. Right, something like they had no way to stop that cap from keep to, from keeping going. The cap win, the first one we've seen of the night. Yep. Uh, Warriors. So, wasn't expecting to see that <laughs> tonight. Yeah, that's definitely a new one. Bit of a reverse NASCAR too. Yep. No, like the they like, almost like they got lost in the tunnel. Went one way, went back, and then went the other way. Uh, they probably would have been off just not stopping and rolling. Yeah, I think you know if I had to comment on the strategy there, I would say if you're going to push tunnel, you should just commit and do it. Um, somebody comes at your back, you know, maybe turn around to shoot them, but keep going. You know, you can't. Come back out. Yep. I mean, that was definitely and John Madden at Armstrong quarterback it all day, but watching it, you know, should have just settled down and kept rolling. Yeah, I mean, I'll caveat all that with saying I don't know what I'm talking about in the slightest. Well, that's what makes us the best uh, announcers there is. It's like, watch. That's right, yeah. yeah it's a bold strategy, Cotton, but <laughs> it didn't work out for him. All right, well, I'm going to uh, pause this. Down for it. We're 